Oh my goodness, guys, that's incredible. Just everything is perfect here, and it's wonderful, really wonderful. On the fifth day of our trip to Spain, we drove to a rough, rocky coast by the sea. We hiked there on a narrow path and the view was just breathtaking. Guys, I can tell you that's so amazing here. It's so beautiful, but it's also so hot. Oh my goodness. But I think I can take amazing photos. So I immediately put out my camera, screwed on the ND filter and took the first pictures. After about two hours we came to a place where we could go down to the sea. I wanted to try filming fish again, so I went into the water and started my first attempts. And yeah, what can I say, the fish were there, but I was just too stupid to film them. On top of that, the quality of this cheap underwater camera is simply not good. Nevertheless, I was able to take some videos of the fish there. When I was out of the water again, I wanted to take a few long exposures of the waves down on the beach. Unfortunately, the full midday sun came out at this point and the light wasn't really nice. And then on the way back, I took some more pictures of this incredible landscape. The next day we went on a trip to a town. Honestly, this is not really my favorite activity. But I made the best of the situation and I was able to take some great pictures. But because you're probably not that interested in this kind of photography and probably this is not a reason why you'd clicked on this video, we will jump straight into the next day. At noon on the seventh day of our trip, I went to the nature reserve again. I wasn't really hoping for good pictures as the light wasn't really nice at that time. The first thing I saw in a lake was a night heron again. This one was comfortably standing in the water and resting. Then I suddenly saw a small bird in the bushes. I've absolutely no idea what kind it is. If you know it, let me know in the comments below. A few meters further on, I suddenly saw white and black large birds in the meadow from a distance. At first, I had absolutely no idea what they were, 
But as I got closer, I realized that they were storks. I've never seen these birds in the wild before, so I was very happy to be able to take these pictures and videos. But at this time, I had no idea what an incredible encounter was waiting for me a few days later. As I walked along, I decided to sit in one of these huts once again. When I went in, I already saw some mallards and egrets in the water. You can recognize them very well by their yellow feet. As the light was quite harsh and these white birds are very bright as a result, I try to underexpose a lot so that the egret is against a black background. And then I suddenly saw something swimming in the water. At first I had no idea what it could be, but then I realized quite quickly that it was a nutria. And I can already tell you one thing guys, this was not the last encounter with this animal on this trip. The next two days I didn't do that much. Most of the time I was on the beach with my family, riding the stand-up paddle or flying the stunt kite. Okay, probably it was sometimes more myself who flew away. One evening I went to the beach for sunset and I was able to take some cool pictures in my opinion. Since I hadn't really been photographing the last few days, I went back to the nature reserve in the afternoon of the 10th day. This time I was lucky enough to have my father driving with me. As I got out of the car, I suddenly heard a loud clatter. I immediately realized that it must be storks, but it didn't sound like three or four storks. Like on my last visit, it sounds much more. So I ran as fast as I could after the loud noise until I suddenly saw them. Oh my goodness, guys, that's incredible. Here are lots of birds. I don't know the English name, but I think I already told you. In Germany they are called M. Storch. And <laughs> that's amazing, I'm speechless. Guys, I'm just speechless. And I try to do some portraits of the birds and the birds are flying um, around all the time because they are looking for food because here are some nests and in the nests are chicks of the of these birds and yeah they will feed them all the time and i try to do some flight shots um but it's not that easy because they are just fast and my autofocus of the candies are isn't the best but yeah, I give my best. They were sitting in the trees a few meters in front of me and I was just fascinated. To see these birds so close in the middle of nature was like a dream.
But then at some point I decided to walk on and come back again when the sun was setting. So I walked to one of the many small lakes and sat down in a height. As I took my first look at the water, I saw this little bird here. I guess it's a young creep, but I have no idea where its parents were. Because I didn't see a single great crested creep on my whole trip. And then they suddenly were there again. The Nutrias. At first I only saw one, but after a short time more and more came out. They played with each other, cleaned themselves and ate. It was really wonderful to be able to watch these animals. Then, at some point when I had completely lost track of time, I remembered that I wanted to go back to the stocks again at sunset. So I said goodbye to the Nutrias and made my way back to the storks. But I did not get far. After a few meters, I suddenly saw two deer through the bushes in a meadow. Luckily, there was a hut nearby where I could sit down. It was a doe with her fawn. They run across the open space in the most beautiful evening light and the shots are simply enchanting. But then I finally got to the storks. Luckily they were still there, so I was able to take a few nice pictures in the evening light. But then I saw the beautiful sky and I really wanted to photograph a stork and fly with it. So I walked to a height from where you could see the storks well and you had a wide view. And what can I say you guys, it definitely paid off. Suddenly, when it was almost dark, I looked down to the meadow below me and saw that a group of fellow deer had come out of the forest. 
Unfortunately, it was already too dark to photograph, but I was still able to take a few videos for you. And then I couldn't believe my eyes. A pack of white boy appeared from behind a bush. The videos are not really good, but these are my first white boars ever. But then this day was really over, and not only this day, also this video. I experienced a lot during these days and had a great time in nature. But I can tell you one thing guys, that was not everything. Next Saturday you can expect my highlights from this trip, so be excited and tune in again.